Wayne Park certainly going to work on his We are underway. The big main event. Wayne Park and Jinx by Egg. High left round kick to open up proceedings there. From Park and another one from Park. Body shots and uppercut there. Jack Bay coming out all guns blazing. Catch and sweep not permitted under K1 rules. This is under K1 rules. Wayne Parshall started in southpaw stance. Now switches back to orthodox. Tags Jenk with the left hand. Jenk Bay forced in the neutral corner. Dancing around the perimeters of the ring. Right hand falls short from Bay. Slams down to the rib cage of Wayne Park. Well, Jenk has to fight his own fight and fight under the style that he's more comfortable in. He doesn't want to get uh, caught up into the grappling and kneeing because that is certainly where Par is going to have the advantage. But at range, what he's doing is clever. Clever fighting, he's unloading his combo and then moving. And that's what Jenk has to keep doing. Left round kick up to the head there. Caught on the forearms by Baig. High left round kick by Baig. Just flicking across the brow of Wayne Parr. Baig dancing around with his balls of his feet. Outside thigh kick from the more flat-footed Wayne Parr. Good back much in front kick there from Baig. How do you see the first round so far, Tarek? Just, just like uh, Mark said here, does, Jenk does have to watch uh, Wayne's uh, knees as he's going in, but he is doing a good job so far the way he's coming in and out with those punches. Beautiful sidestep technique, round kick to the ribcage there from Jenk Bay, caught him unawares. So you got mobile up on the balls of his feet, that's what he has to keep doing, moving off to the side, to the offside of, uh, of Wayne Parr, and circling, not being a, a sitting target, so to speak. Need a midsection there from Wayne Parr and another one. Jenk Bay's got to keep the hands up. He's been caught on the head a few times already here in the opening round. We are 1 minute 40 down. Outside thigh kick, well checked there by Bay. Jab through the guard, right hand to the body. Didn't find the target to the ribcage from Bay. When you talk about the tie style, they are very... Nice jab from Wayne Parr, caught in flush. They are very uh, set in their uh, stance, as Wayne Parr is. You can see him just inching forward. But no drastic movements, everything's nice and planted until they decide to launch a technique that's a mark of a tight style fighter. Bayek on, uh, on turn is, is mirroring that somewhat, but up on the balls of his feet and using his angles very proficiently. Solid handiwork now from Wayne Parr, the crowd rallying behind him, but Jim Bayek slugs it out of the corner. Solid first round, this by both men, real no feeling out process at all. Jab, body shot there from Bayek, ties up Wayne Parr, Wayne Parr trying to dump him down the canvas. Backs him against the ropes in front of our commentary position now. Dropping body shot from Parr. High left round kick, another body shot from Parr. Bayek forced to cover up. High left round kick there from Wayne Parr. High right round kick from Bayek, then the body shot. Knee in the rib cage from Wayne Parr. Well, neither man willing to take a step back. Couple of hooks there to the body, couple of rips from Jenk Bayek. Snappy jab, nice head shot there from Bayek Tarrant. Yes, sir, there was a good left hook by Jenk, but Wayne just came back with a good uh, high shot, which caught uh, Jenk on the glove. Hammer into the first round, we go to the trails of Wally Corker. Well, what a great first up round. Bayek unloading with some very, very solid body shots, landing some good kicks as well. Par landing some good kicks, attempted step up knees. Didn't quite work for him in the first round. That way, in, uh, pretty even, you could go the way of Bayek. He was the busier of the two and the more aggressive. But uh, when it comes to scoring, there you see Bayek just uh, landing some nice, tidy techniques. The, uh, the catch and uh, carry over by uh, Par not paid. You're not allowed to catch, obviously, under K1. I hope someone's told the judges that. But uh, there you go, Bayek working low, Par working high. He did... Uh, Unload a nice combo in the corner there, Bayek got caught with a couple, and uh, Bayek was working solidly. Wayne Parr opting more for power rather than combinations, getting a couple of good shots in, but uh, an even Stephen first round. i say the busier of the two, I'd have to go almost uh, Bayek. OK, so unofficially the hammer giving a 10-9 to Jink Bayek. Tarek Solak, how do you see it first round? I saw it on a bit more of an even round. Uh, Bayek did start stronger and Wayne finished it a bit, uh, a bit better at the end, but uh, it was a good round. Both boys work hard and it looked very good. Here we go. OK, 10-9 says the hammer barely to Jink Bayek. 10 all says Solak after round one. Here we go in the second stanza. We're set for five by three. K1 rules. Jink Bayek again coming up with the body shots on Wayne Park. Of course, head-to-head, -head, these two gyms in main event are one win apiece. Anthony Vella being beaten by Paul Briggs a number of years ago. And earlier this year, Chris Chrysopolides beating Nathan Briggs. So this is the decider between Boom Chu and Team Ultimate to see who goes 2-1 up. Outside guy kick there by Wayne Park. But off the brow, Wayne Park. And Park just comes back to the canvas. Again, Tarek, this one under K1 rules, they don't score. No, that shouldn't, but um, I think uh, the referee should, should be a bit more careful there uh, when he was getting thrown off. But under K1 rules, Tarek, aggression does score. Am I, uh, am I correct? Aggression does, but you're not allowed to throw each other around. Sure. Comments from the hammer, Mark Castanini, as Bayek lands another solid right hand, high left round kick combination. 
Round kick for the ribcage there from Park. Beautiful handiwork from Bayek. Almost caught a knee to the jaw there. Over. Wayne Barr moving forward again. One minute ten down here in this second round. Round kick there from Parr. Not enough mustard behind it to do any real damage. You've got to watch Parr when he gets bent in the grapple. What he'll do is then spin him around as he did with Scott Bannon when he defeated Scott Bannon with that knee to the ribcage. Ooh. He locks the grapple on, spins the opponent, and then finishes with a finishing knee. Wayne Parr trying to lock onto the back of the head and bring it down for the kick. Not Irene spinning. He'll kick a beauty by Bayek. The crowd loves it. Inside side kick by Bayek. Champagne kick Foxy from Jim Bayek now starting to turn it on. And Jen has scored three or four good right hand shots in this round so far, so um, he's doing very well in this round compared to the first. Another scoring round for Jake Bain so far. Body shot to the left, to the head, tagged in. Way back into the right. Holy crap, the bag of the spinning hill, keep the ball around. Bain on fire here in the what second round, Hammer. He's certainly unloading the combos, but I tell you what, Wayne Parr is just biding his time. Looking into his eyes, I can see Parr's just waiting for an opening. Double shot combination of the jaw there from Park. Body shots and head shots and another telling rip there from Bay. Gets tagged with the left hand and here goes Park. Here's the pain of the ring. Aggression from Wayne Park. That's exactly what Bayek has to do when Park gets the grapple on. It is danger land certainly for uh, Bayek because Park is very proficient with those knees. Bayek is going to have to haul the waist of Wayne Parr in and just negate that mean tactic of Wayne Parr. Outside thigh kick, inside thigh kick from Bayek. Final seconds of this round, Terry. This is why I said that they, both these guys are professional. They're very great. See, uh, John just had a little opportunity and he made the best of it. But uh, if I was to score the round, uh, definitely I would score this round Bay Bayek's way because he did score clean uh, right-hand shots. Hammer, how do you see it? Well, once again, uh, certainly Bayek was the busier of the two. Wayne Parr waiting for an opening and it's a classic. It's just a reminder of uh, almost Double the final Oscar and Adam Watt, Michael, where uh, Adam Watt was just waiting, biding his time, waiting for an opening. And you know what? The opening never came. John Wayne Parr doesn't want to get sucked into that game plan. He has to get busy. Certainly Bayek was the busier of the two. Parr is very methodical in his attacks. And when there's an opening there, he is going to make Bayek pay. And Jenk really has to be on his game. This scenario here, he has to bring the waist in as he's doing there and just try and negate those knees of John Wayne Parr because that is going to be Wayne Parr's most damaging uh, tactic. Hammer, who do you give that round to? I'd have to say on work rate, you've got to get it, give it to Bayek. So uh, I'll uh, go down as giving that one to, uh, to the red corner. But uh, John Wayne Parr... The scores aren't indicative of, uh, of what he probably possesses in these coming rounds. Let him be at <laughs> Last minute instructions in the red corner there for Jenk Bank from Blitz Hall of Famer Johnny Sheeter, the hitman Bang Anthony Vallant, Paul Demacoli, Laura Skinner. Rallying behind Melbourne's Western Ready? Suburbian Jenk Bank. No fray. And we're about to get underway. Third round of action. No fray. Unofficially so far, Tarek Solak, 10 all in the first, 10 9 to Jenk in the second. Mark Castanini, 10 9 to Jenk in the first. 10-9 to Jenk in the second. Here we go, third round. And this is where you expect Wayne Parr, being the Muay Thai stylist, to really start to pick up the momentum hammer. He will certainly open up in the third and fourth. Latches on, back of the neck. Trying to work the knee for the ribcage and then up to the jaw from Wayne Parr. Jenk's got to get out of there. Knee strike for the ribcage, one to the jaw from Parr. But he does not want to try and box it over a tie grapple. It is not going to work for him. Overhand right, beautiful left. Now Dave Hitchcock's at both Bayek and Yes, and uh, Bayek just did score two clean uh, right shots to the head again there. But you also have to count those knee strikes from Parr, Tarek. You've got to keep watching those knees. If they're clean shots, of course, they're scoring just as well. Uh, but so far, I think there hasn't been a clean knee in the fight. If there was, I promise you, we can see Jenk's face showing sure. that to us. One minute down here in the third round of action, set for five. Step up jab, outside thigh kick, outside thigh kick there from Parr. They're oh. going at it one for one now. Let's On start, left round kick, double shot from Parr. Let's start scoring it down with the, uh, the counting shots, Michael, as we usually...